So yeah, and then in terms of, you know, we're putting this to use in the real world. Yeah. Now, wow, that is impressive. Look at the Tesla Semi just blasting past a diesel truck going up a hill. Uh, sorry, what's that? The regular Semi is hauling 20 tons of cargo, whilst the Tesla Semi is only hauling about five. Oh, don't worry. We'll come to the calculations in due time. Yeah, I realize people now who scoffed and said it was impossible for Elon Musk to build a truck that could carry an entire quarter of the cargo of a regular truck. And the truck that was going to be so reliable. Reliability is incredibly important. We're putting massive attention into making this tr truck incredibly reliable. What in the world? It's a Tesla truck, you guys. Look at that. And that's why we are guaranteeing that this truck will not break down for a million miles. Yeah, there you go, it's a Tesla truck. The service battery coming up to it. Tesla service truck, big rig wrecker. It'd be a horrible week. It could break down in the middle of nowhere. It's the safety issues. We're guaranteeing it won't break down for a million miles because it has four independent motors. You can lose two of those four motors and the truck will still keep going. In fact, even if you only have two of the four motors active, it'll still be a diesel truck. Well, kind of, if it's being towed by one. No, seriously, it would know when it was about to break down and call services for you. Uh, what's going on, preventative maintenance, the truck will actually anticipate when it needs to be when it needs maintenance and, and inform you ahead of time. Yes, it's official. The Tesla Semi can only carry about a quarter of what a regular truck can. And that's before we factor in all the other reasons why large electric trucks are a dumb idea. You know, things like they take too long to charge, they take too much power to charge, and a regular car battery. Well, that's kind of a fire hazard. Model S Plaid burst into flames earlier this week while the owner was driving it. According to the Lower Marion Fire Department in Pennsylvania, copious amounts of water were poured on the vehicle for over two hours in order to extinguish the fire. That uh, most fire departments can barely put out. We actually had to lay a supply line, a street line, uh, to feed our engines, and we had two and three quarters going, um, trying to extinguish this fire. And, and it doesn't go out right away. You know, it definitely burns a lot hotter and a lot quicker. Now imagine a battery pack ten times bigger. And none of this, none of it, prevented a gazillion Musk fans praising the everlasting crap out of the chocolate frying pan of inventions. So almost four years past the promised delivery date. Yeah, I can't believe it's been five years. Um, so we, we, we unveiled the Tesla Semi uh, five years ago. Musk has unveiled a product that looks basically identical to the one that was unveiled five years ago. That is, it looks like a truck, but fails to deliver on every significant miraculous feature that it promised five years ago. Seriously, I went through the unveiling video again, and it's absolutely full, like 90% full of bullshit claims. It's a pickup truck that can carry a pickup truck. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> then of course you get to the choke of the delivery event, and maybe 5% of those claims are delivered on, and they're all the unremarkable stuff. Or focusing on pointless crap, like how they've redesigned the cup holders. To watch them put, I mean, I think they even took like a bunch of like the various cups and put them in CAD and you'll see them like put them in various cup holder sizes and places. Well, that's a wrap folks. He did it. He revolutionized trucking. Guess we can all go home now. Seriously, their time to mention the design of the cup holders and how amazing all the wireless charging and USB ports on a truck was gonna be. We've got the plugins, the wireless charging, everything they need on the uh, electronic side as well. Yep. And of course, the burning question that everyone is uh, holding their breath for, did Elon Musk manage to achieve the absolutely impossible you can put your coveralls on while in the cab. So if you have to go do a dirty job, you can do that comfortably as opposed to being out in the elements. Of making a truck cabin you could stand up in, you know, to revolutionize the trucking industry. You know, unheard of. We were able to do that with some pretty innovative packaging. But curiously, didn't have enough time to cover some trivial details like how many they were actually delivering, how much they cost, 
and how much cargo they could haul. I mean, it was a delivery event, right? So, I mean, you would have at least expected them to mention how many trucks were delivered. But nope, not once. I'm going to guess one, because it really does seem like Tesla aren't in any hurry to actually make a product of any sorts. I mean, remember, in the original event, they promised everyone that they would get a working truck ready to go in two years. And pr production begins 2019. So if you order now, get the part, the truck in two years. I want to be clear, this is from day one. So it, from day one, having a Tesla Semi will beat a diesel truck on economics. Day one. And this is, at, this is a worst case scenario. So it gets better than this. This is, the, this, is the, this is the worst case scenario comparison. And here we are, some five years later. And all you folks who put down $20,000 for a deposit for a truck that was going to be delivered in 2019. Nope. The small number that Tesla are making, they're keeping. And the other thing is that we're going to take these and we're going to put our money where our mouth is. And we're going to put these on into our own fleet, into our own supply chain. Because I think that's how making products works. You promise to deliver something, take millions of dollars of pre-orders, make a few half a decade or so late, and then keep them for yourself. And we're going to use this to transport goods between our factories and our suppliers because we believe in it, not just from a mission perspective and a cost perspective. Yeah, screw those guys who put down pre-orders. Now, I think the real reason they're doing that, of course, is these things are so desperately unreliable that they just can't afford to give them to customers. You know, the truck's basically at the point where they can barely align the panels at the moment. That is five or so years late, and they're just about starting to learn how to make a truck. Get that learning as fast as we can. We want it straight from the drivers. We want it straight from the service techs that are working on it. We're going to take all that data that's coming in and continue to refine the product and make it better. Just Seriously, guys, you promised not just a working truck, a working revolutionary truck that would be delivered about four years ago. Tesla using the trucks continuously day and night uh, between um, here and Fremont and, and back again. Uh, but coming back to the presentation, the core bit that they failed to mention, which is maybe the most important thing about a truck, is how much can it haul? Ballpark figures, the total weight of the truck and the cargo is typically about 40 or so tons. Half of that is roughly the actual weight of the vehicle, and about half of it is cargo. Not quite true for the Tesla Semi. We'll have this fully laden Tesla truck breezing up a hill. So that, that truck's clocking it at 82. That, that's weighing 82,000 pounds. And when you see that pass shot again, you'll notice... Yes. You're quite right. I will notice. You'll notice that speedometer is climbing. You know, we're going 6% and accelerating up that grade. It's like driving a, a normal car, not like driving a truck. Um, you, it's just that you're, you're moving 82,000 pounds. So again and again, they're almost boasting about how the truck is the maximum allowable weight for a truck on the road, which is about 40 tons. But it's such an irrelevant number. The only number people care about is how much of that is cargo, which Musk is masterfully reluctant to give this critical number. Almost like it's embarrassingly small, just like everyone told him it would be. Well, if Musk's not going to give us the numbers, I guess we're just going to have to try and figure it out ourselves. Those look kind of like concrete barriers. So all we got to do is look up how much they weigh and we can roughly calculate it from that. Yeah, these look about right. A couple of meters long, about half a meter tall. All we got to do is figure out how much they weigh and count up how many are on the flatbed and we can calculate how much the Tesla Semi is hauling. So what we got, standard unit, half a meter tall, two meters long, and that weighs 500 kilos. So how many of them are we hauling? So there are four or so rows of this thing and three or so columns. So it's carrying 12 in total. I should stress, I'm being a little generous here. There's actually only two in the last column. But whatever, we'll call it 12. At about half a ton apiece means that it's carrying about five tons of cargo. So that, that truck's clocking it at 82. That, that's weighing 82,000 pounds. Whereas your typical flatbed would haul about 20 tons. Me 
Now, I wonder why Elon Musk was so evasive about not mentioning the cargo capacity. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they wear a lot more than I think. Huh. So I found this video about a truck laden with these concrete road barriers, which they reckon weigh almost twice as much. They weigh about a ton per piece. But just check this out. It's not three rows of these. It's four rows. And it's one, two, three, four, five. So there's 20 alone, not including the four on top. So there are 24 total road barriers on this truck. Twice as many as on the Tesla Semi. Um, it's just that you're, you're moving 82,000 pounds. Yeah, amazing how Elon Musk is so keen to tell people that his truck weighs about 40 tons, but can only carry somewhere between 5 to 10 tons of cargo. That's a half to a quarter of what a regular truck can haul. At which point, all of Musk's bragging about how powerful this truck is and how it can accelerate so quickly things that no haulage firm ever really ask about. We want a, a vehicle that feels incredible, that accelerates like nothing else. Uh, let's show what the, the truck... Uh, but hey, guess what, Elon? You can put two engines on a regular truck, and that will probably go up a hill quicker as well. It's just that Musk's extensive research about what truckers really want focused on uh, making things badass and accelerate quickly and wireless charging and... And that sort of thing, rather than say how much freight it can actually carry. Yeah, it looks like Musk is going to do for the trucking industry what he did for Twitter. So if I've got 20 tons of freight to move from, say, San Francisco to LA, let's just assume Musk's truck can do it for the moment. I can either use one regular truck or a fleet of two to four Tesla semis with two to four times the workforce. Oh, I can feel Elon's promises of five years ago kicking in already. I want to be clear, this is from day one. So it, from day one, having a Tesla Semi will beat a diesel truck on economics. Day one. And this is, at, this is a worst case scenario. So it gets better than this. This is the, this is the, this is the worst case scenario comparison. And if you think this is the death blow, not even close. So at the delivery event, we only ever see one truck moving. Despite Musk telling people how easy they are to drive, he still manages to make the super autonomous truck lurch to a stop in a way that would make most truck drivers cringe. And spotting what's missing, uh, let's go back to the original presentation for the full self-driving. Uh, even if you're in the truck and you have a medical emergency, the truck will stay in lane and gradually come to a halt and put on the emergencies. If it doesn't hear a response from you, it will actually call emergency services and get an ambulance. It, it's going to take care of you. It's going to take care of other cars. It's going to take care of pedestrians. This is a massive increase in safety. And when the truck was actually delivered, there was no mention of any of these miraculous claims. That is, the Tesla Semi won't keep in lane, it won't pull off the road in the case of a medical emergency, and it won't call emergency services. Not only that, but the truck was going to come with autopilot as standard. Every truck we sell will have enhanced autopilot as standard. Okay. And there was no mention of the autopilot in the delivery event at all. Which, if we're being honest, just means there isn't any autopilot. Which might surprise some people, because back in 2017, they claimed they could already do it. Not just for one truck, but for convoys of trucks. Um, the, the convoy technology, the tracking technology, this is something that we are confident we can do today 10 times safer than a human driver. So this is, I want to be clear, this is something we can do now. This, so it's, what this means is it's, it's not just economic suicide to use one diesel truck. It's economic suicide for rail. This beats rail. And it's all like this in the event back in 2017. It's just an outrageous claim after outrageous claim. 
And when it comes to the delivery event, there's no sign of any of it. But hey, it looks like they did get the uh, wireless charging to work. Seriously, what is it with all this uh, scam stuff and their obsession with showing how their gimmick revolution is going to have wireless charging? And you know why it's dumb? Well, let's see how the actual driver uses um, his phone, shall we? Yeah, I'm sure he's really going to use the uh, wireless charging, right? Nope, <laughs> he just has it plugged in on the dashboard. It, but seriously, it's no real surprise they didn't get any sort of auto drive on the truck, given that they can barely do it for a car. Yeah, with most people saying, well, full self-driving is uh, kind of a nice gimmick, but uh, once per journey, it will try to kill you. And if you're not there at the exact moment to jump on the steering wheel to um, stop it, it will kill you. And if you're wondering who's paying $15,000 for this, uh, the most annoying fan base on the internet. Well, maybe even Tesla has their limits. Putting a device that can not really even drive a car in charge of a death machine, that might not be such a good look for the company. Elon Musk also seems to be genuinely proud that he didn't fake something in a presentation for once. And we're going to post the whole video unedited on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. And uh, no jump cuts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's referring to how they allegedly faked their original uh, full self-driving video by jump cuts and that sort of thing, which accounts for why they apparently had a level five full self-driving like five years ago, but today can't get beyond level two? Sort of glorified cruise control, that sort of thing? Yeah, there was like no fast moves here. Nope. So to be clear, it's not like, oh, what, what, did, what tricks did they pull? Wait, were there actually a whole bunch of tricks we could have pulled yeah. and didn't? <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, you know, like, as Dan said, like, no, no special error treatment, uh, the... Oh, and by the way, we should mention there was yeah. no charging. Like, we, we charged yeah, the truck. Yeah, yeah. We didn't stop to charge. Single, yes. single driver One charge. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Um, so... <laughs> Minor detail. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's not like 500 miles, like, with no load, with special arrow and special everything. It's, like, fully loaded. Yeah, they go through all that, but never actually specify how much cargo it can take. Like, um, yeah, curious number to avoid giving out. Okay, let's take a look at that video, shall we? So he gets into the truck and he gets on the road. The Tesla Semi will go zero to 60 in five seconds. <laughs> and, um, yeah, okay, it's a uh, truck driving. So that, that's by itself or with a trailer. Now, at 80,000 pounds max gross vehicle weight, this is the real-time acceleration of a Tesla Semi. That, uh, on the left, the thing that looks like it's not moving <laughs> is a diesel truck. Wow, with such amazing performance, this. I think they had a, an acronym for it. Starting with performance. So we have a, an acronym we came up with. Um, <laughs> That, uh, I think, really, really describes the performance well. You know with performance like that, no other truck will overtake that Tesla Semi. Right? Just gonna give it a moment. I'm sorry to bore you. I apologize. It's boring. I know. But what you curiously find is the Tesla Semi appears to be the slowest truck on the road, even going up hills, being burned off by tankers. Seriously, it overtakes like once on its entire 500 mile journey. Meanwhile, it's overtaken by dozens of trucks. You know, at Tesla, we don't make slow cars. Uh, we don't make this, so this thing has crazy power relative to a, a diesel truck. And yet somehow, it's still miraculously almost the slowest truck on the road. Yeah, it's not such a good talking point that we've invented an electric truck that can only take half the cargo of a regular truck. So they fill up the rest of the time with, with vapid stuff like, uh, yeah, the truck's better because um, aesthetics? You know, make it kick ass for the drivers. Yeah, I mean, it, lo it looks sick. I mean, look at that thing. <laughs> so if you're a, a truck driver and you want the, the most badass rig on the road, this is it. 
Um, it's fun, it looks awesome. Well, the slowest truck in the road is really amazing. It's completely different from driving any other truck. Because reasons? Uh, it's fast to accelerate, it's, it's uh, fast to brake. It's really a step change improvement in uh, what it's like to drive a semi-truck. Or you can just resort to the uh, vapid Valley Girl speak of saying how awesome and totally rad things are. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. We want to make the truck an awesome driving experience, uh, a game changer because of all the awesome innovations that have happened. Wait, what I find actually really wild about this... I mean, the team's done a lot of awesome work. I mean, we, yes. we did all this work. It was really cool to watch them put... I mean, I think they even took like a bunch of like the various cups and put them in CAD and you'll see them like... So what are the important factors for trucking? Well, how much can it carry and how frequently? A typical diesel truck has a range of up to 2,000 miles on a single tank and will take you something like 20 minutes to refuel. Tesla Semi, even if you believe their numbers, and this has been said previously, you need to take these things with a grain of salt. The range is 500 miles. So, you know, some people out there say it can't be done. Um, I don't know who might say that, but uh, <laughs> I've heard rumors. Um, no, no one said that it wasn't possible. They said it would be stupid to do it. And uh, so we just did it. Um, <laughs> yeah. The range is 500 miles, but he says um, two kilowatt hours per mile. Uh, hours two per kilowatt mile. hours a mile. Yep. So That's a thousand kilowatt hour battery. So a Tesla supercharger would take about four hours at their best supercharger, or six at most of their superchargers, or 15 hours at a regular supercharger, or if you're going to charge it from home, about 150 hours. So about a week, compared to your regular semi, which will take about 20 minutes to fuel, and will give you about 2,000 miles of range. So of course, to overcome this, they claim they're going to have megawatt chargers that will get that charging time down to about an hour. Until you realize that the average energy consumption of your typical house is about a kilowatt. So a single truck charger would basically require its own substation to charge a single truck. So coming back to what Musk was promising they could do now in 2017, you know, ignoring all the vaporware about how the truck was going to take you to a hospital if you stub your toe or something, you would need three substations to charge just one truck convoy like this every 500 or so miles. Yeah, good luck in finding infrastructure like that in the middle of the desert. And of course, the delivery event showed no evidence whatsoever of these megawatt charges. Just like in 2017, there was no evidence shown for any of their bullshit claims. And while it's maybe possible to do this sort of thing, it's also known that fast charging batteries shortens their life. So in reality, the delivery event was of a truck that would take hours to days to charge to go a few hundred miles, whilst a regular truck would take 20 minutes to fill pretty much anywhere in the world and can drive 2,000 miles. And this is before we get on to how much it all weighs. Batteries are big and heavy, and they weigh exactly as much when they're charged as when they're discharged. And if all your truck is doing is hauling around a very big, very heavy battery, then it's not going to be shifting much cargo. So let's take Tesla's own numbers and assume that they're real. So a thousand kilowatt hour battery is basically 10 Model X battery packs, which weigh about um, 1,400 pounds each, about 0.7 of a ton. So even with these optimistic numbers, they're looking at a battery weight of 7 tons. But they've got all the weight saving that they don't have to have a big heavy diesel engine in there, right? Well, a diesel engine weighs um, 3,000 pounds or about one and a half tons. So immediately off the bat, assuming with one you've got to carry a battery around and with the other an engine, with the fuel almost taking up nothing by comparison, the Tesla Semi loses five tons of carrying capacity because of the battery. And part of me suspects that it might actually be much worse than this. Because otherwise, how do you explain the Tesla Semi fully loaded, according to Elon, and only hauling about half? 
the cargo. Yeah, an admission of failure like that is something that you really wouldn't want to admit in a launch event. And of course, it goes without saying that there was no mention of the super advanced nuclear bomb-proof glass that was Musk's favorite feature of the Tesla Semi. And this is the feature I like best, thermonuclear explosion-proof glass. <laughs> you see, look, nothing. Um, survived a nuclear explosion. That was incredible. And they especially didn't want to prove how effective their glass was by trying to demo it. Oh my fucking god. Well, and this is the feature I like best. Thermonuclear explosion proof. It didn't go through. That's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try that one. Right? Try that one, really? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh man. It didn't go through. So standard glass. Now, now why is this important? Because, uh, uh, you see, look, nothing. Um, so the original Tesla event, you know, where the Tesla semi was going to beat diesel trucks from day one, where everything would just work. That's, that's I think, really quite, quite profound. Um, we're, we're confident that this is a product that is better in every way from a future standpoint, that wins on economics against uh, uh, diesel trucks in a worst case scenario, and that defeats rail um, in a convoy scenario. Which they could do now. So this is, I want to be clear, this is something we can do now. It was basically a rerun of their solar roof reveal, where it was a bunch of 100% fake products with a bunch of wild Theranos claims about how it would change everything, much to the adulation of credulous, scientifically illiterate idiots. In the Theranos hope that in a few years' time, they might be able to violate the laws of physics and deliver on some of these wild promises. Meanwhile, competitors looked at the actual problems and said, electric short-range delivery trucks kind of make sense because there the battery isn't such a big issue, and started making and delivering them. Meanwhile, a techno Ponzi king, who's been ridden with flaws that people like me have been pointing out since day one. <laughs> but it's really not that hard. It still sounds pretty complicated, Elon. It's like a tube with an air hockey table. It's really, I swear it's not that hard. <laughs> yeah, the techno Ponzi scheme is fine until you actually have to unveil a product and compare what was promised to what was delivered. This was claimed it was going to change everything in long distance trucking. And what effect did the amazing reveal of the Tesla Semi have on the stock price, which has lost over 50% of its value this year? Well, it was basically nothing which is about how many of the problems of long-distance trucking Elon Musk has solved here. And that's today's video. If you enjoyed it, maybe give it a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing if you've not done so already. And as ever, if you really enjoy the work of this channel and want to support it directly, you can do it through Patreon. And uh, thanks for watching.